Ready? Hold on, not ready. My hair is just in my eyeball. Oh my God, I didn't hairspray my hair. I just had to get it like out of my face. I like girls that like girls, girls. Hey fam bam, what's up? It's Cece and I'm back today with a new video about all the products I would never repurchase. Before we get started and into the video, I just wanted to let you guys know there was a lot of confusion on my last video. I am not leaving this channel, Sienna Spalding TV. I am only adding a new channel, CC Panda, and that is where all the videos in collaboration with Panda slash Amanda Abbott will be taking place. So hopefully you guys will really enjoy the ridiculousness that is CC and Panda together and go subscribe. I'll put the link below. It's gonna be super fun and I can't wait. We're gonna be putting up like videos from the past for the new fam bam who have never seen them. And then also of course new videos every week. So I hope you guys really enjoy that. I'm super excited about it. So I just wanted to clear up any confusion that you guys had. Sienna Spawn TV ain't going nowhere, boo boo, okay. Stay tuned for the end of the video. I figured I have to put something positive in this video because I'm talking about negative products. So I'm gonna be putting, oh my God, what are those? Something really special at the end. So keep watching for that. So right out the gate, I wanted to tell you guys, this is not like a bashing video on any products or anything like that. These are simply products that I purchased or received that do not work for me. You know, I hesitated to do this video because I was like, oh, people are gonna think I'm being negative about products or something like that or brands. But no, if this video helps one of you guys to not waste your money on something, then that's a positive outcome. So I wish more people did videos like this. First, I'm gonna talk. Oh. Whoa, my hair was like extra sticky because I put so much hairspray in it. Ooh! Big Sexy Hair is no joke. That's a good product. If you want good hairspray, Big Sexy Hair. Okay, so let's start off by talking about a product that has been talked up so much in all these YouTube videos. I can't get over it. It is Pro Glow foundation, the infallible foundation. I believe it's L'Oreal and I did purchase it. You guys, I bought two of them. I don't have it to show you because I legit returned that bitch. I was like, no, I'm not wasting six. What are they? $15 a pop. I was, <laughs> girl, you tripping. If you think I'm going to be spending $15 on drugstore foundation and have it not be the business. And it was not, it was not. And let me tell you why. I put on this foundation and at first it's the shit. Like you put it on and you're like, ooh, hell yeah. Coverage for days, goes on so smooth, looks fucking flawless. This is, I was like, this is gonna be my new favorite foundation. I'm so excited about it. Oh my God, it's 16 hours of wear. This is it. No, this is not it. I performed, and you guys know that I am a hype girl for Red Foo from LMFAO, so I'm dancing for like anywhere from 60 minutes to 90 minutes every night on stage, and I'm sweating my balls off, okay? I'm just like dripping sweat. And I wore this foundation. This is the true test. I wear a foundation on stage, and if it lasts, then it is good to go. This foundation, oh my God. When I got off stage, it was like someone had streaked like mud on my face or something. There was, it was so patchy. It had come off in so many weird, uneven spots on my face. I looked like I had leprosy. People were like, what, what happened to your face? Like it takes a lot for somebody to ask another person what happened to your face. Do you know what I'm saying? I knew it was bad news after that. I actually did try it one other time. I gave it another shot, you guys. I really wanted to like this foundation. I wore it to an event and the pictures just were not coming out the way I wanted them to. And I even said to Panda, you know, like, oh, how's my face looking? And she's like, "It, your skin doesn't look as good as it normally does. What's going on? And I was like, well, I tried a new foundation. And she was like, that's not your foundation. Nope. So so it, it just looks super uneven after a while. Like it does not wear well. And I don't know if it just was on me. I'm dry. 
I don't know you guys like it just was not working for me but it looks fantastic for like the first two hours I like to wear my makeup a little bit longer than that. If you want a foundation that literally you can go swimming in and have no problem with it, it is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. That foundation is my holy grail. I have worn it for years and years and years. Nothing comes close to it. Moving on to another foundation. This one is so terrible. I know you guys are gonna be like shocked by this because so many YouTubers have been raving about it, but it's the Makeup Forever HD Stick. First and foremost, can we just talk about this for a second? I believe this was close to $35. I'm gonna roll it up as far as it goes. That's it! Are you fucking kidding me right now? This is all the foundation I'm gonna get for $35? Is this a goddamn joke? Is this a joke? What is that? Are you kidding me right now? Like, I get one inch of foundation? I'm sorry, I'm so angry about this and I love makeup forever, but this is like, this is unacceptable to me. To be that expensive for this much product, what are you talking about? Like, ugh. secondly, the foundation is absolutely terrible. And when I say terrible, I'm it's terrible for me. I don't know, maybe it works for other people. It goes on like nice and creamy, looks all good and shit, but it's like greasy as fuck. Oh my God, I spittled. <laughs> That's how strongly I feel about this. I don't know how in the world a foundation can make me look greasy when I'm dry. I have legit like dry patches on my face. That's how dry I am. And this foundation makes me look like I'm sweating. Like it's disgusting. And it moves around on your face. I have never had a foundation blended in with a beauty blender set with translucent powder and then 30 minutes later, two hours later, whenever, I can do this and the fucking foundation moves on my face. How is it moving? I set you with powder. Like what? I, I don't understand it. I don't get it at all. It just like, I can go like this and wipe it completely off my face. Like it doesn't stay on. If I tried to wipe Studio Fix Fluid off my face. That foundation is like, girl, uh-uh, I ain't moving. But this foundation is just like, okay, and just comes right off. And my skin, my natural skin is right underneath. And I'm like, oh, no words, no words. I can't talk about it anymore. It's so horrible. So mad I spent the money on it. Okay, moving on. Okay, this one is called, I don't know how to pronounce it, Jouer Anti-Blemish matte primer. It's salicylic acid acne treatment, non-drying and non-irritating pore refiner. The problem with this thing is the smell. I'm not big on smells. It can, it can smell like whatever. I don't give a shit. Like I'll still use it. You know what I mean? But this product, you guys, it knocks you off your feet. It is that bad. Oh, like seriously, it smells like the inside of a boot made with the most chemical induced toxic ingredients of life. Like that's what it smells like. Just death. <laughs> I'm so sorry to these companies. Um, okay, say goodbye to any sponsors from now on, ever. Um, I don't even care, I, I just, I have to tell the truth, they're so bad. Oh, like seriously, it smells like toxic fumes. That's how bad it is. This could literally be a game-changing, fountain of youth, miracle-working primer, and I cannot wear it because the smell of the toxic fumes just stays on your face and doesn't go anywhere and you're just smelling death all day long. I tried it three times and I was like inducing vomit every time. Next is the Bare Minerals Well Rested Br Under Eye Brightener. <sighs> Honestly, I mean, it's not, it's like pumps up like this. It's not that this stuff is that bad. Hold up, let me, I have to show you this. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, there it is. And then I'm blending it out and Honestly, where the fuck did it go? Like, this stuff is like clear gloss. 
Like why am I wasting a coat of makeup on my face when it just is completely fucking clear? Like what? If I'm wearing a brightener, I want that shit to brighten. Do you know what I'm saying? Like give me something good, lady. Like I'm trying to glow. I'm trying to get highlighted to the god. I want some bright ass shit underneath my eyes. I don't want a clear gloss giving me a hint of reflective whatever. Like, it's just, I'm sorry. It's just not, it's not it. It's not it. If you want an under eye brightener like this, go with the, um, it's the MAC, the yellow one. That It looks just like this, but it's yellow. Some of you guys are probably gonna be surprised by this because everyone and their mother is obsessed with this product and I literally hate it. I'm sorry, you guys, but it is the Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara. The problem with this mascara, at first it seems like really dope, really awesome. It goes on all thick and, and voluminous and everything like that. And then what happens during the day is that you get these teeny t <sighs> What the fuck? It's like, I can't win. Look at this hairspray. Ah, oh, shit holds like glue. Are you kidding me? I didn't think I put that much in, and apparently I did. Okay, so what happens during the day is you get these little specks like underneath of your eyes. Hold up, why are you flaking on me, boo? Why are you gonna try me like that? And it's really upsetting to me. And this shit does not does not stay on my lashes. It just like comes off so much. Like it, I can't even believe how much it flakes and that nobody seems to be having an issue with this on YouTube. Mentioned it in a video about how terrible this mascara is and I got so many comments from you guys saying that you also had the same experience and that you think it's a terrible mascara as well. And I was like, well, I'm not crazy then. I'm not the only one, but why am I the only YouTuber that has an issue with this mascara. I don't know. Other than that, I absolutely love Too Faced. I just, I don't like this mascara. I bought this at Target. It's the Wet n Wild H2O Proof Liquid Eyeliner. Oh, this is why it doesn't work. When it goes on, it's not completely opaque. It almost goes on like an oil. That sounds really weird, but it's like kind of sheer and oily in texture, and then it doesn't dry. Like it just, why are you not drying? Like if I'm putting on a liquid liner, I need you to dry in 2.5, honey. Like there's no time to be wasted. If you open your eyes, you're gonna get the eyeliner up here on your eyelid. And that's what happens to this mascara. <laughs> mascara, eyeliner. And then it bleeds like all into here. This is not okay. The other problem, how are you gonna call yourself a waterproof eyeliner when I can lick my fucking finger and it smudges off? How the hell, bitch, bitch, bitch? Don't come at me like that. Be waterproof if you're gonna say you're waterproof. Like stand behind your convictions. I didn't like that at all. Okay, so I'm gonna leave on a really fun, awesome product that was sent to me by a fam bammer. And you guys know that when I see talent, creativity, I just have to show it off. I just feel like you can't contain creativity and art. And these certainly are art, custom made, Shoes, ice cream, fucking heels. Are you kidding me? The cutest thing I've seen in a really long time. And I'm gonna get up close so you can check these out. This is waffle cone down here and a pink ice cream with little sprinkles on it. Oh my God, look at the detail in the little drips. The chocolate that's dripping down, the sprinkles on the chocolate. This is incredible, you guys. Piece de resistance, the cherry with the whipped cream. The texture is out of control. It looks so real. This is all like really hard. This shit ain't going nowhere. Like you could get into a fight and th these shoes are gonna be durable as hell. Like they're not gonna get messed up. You know what I'm saying? Like 
They don't even get scuffed, I don't think. You could probably just wipe them off with water and be fine. And you can tell the amount of precision and detail that she puts into these is like incredible. Underneath, you have this little fairy with a half crescent moon. Ah, these are amazing. I can't wait to wear them. I, I just love weird, unique, interesting items like this. How stinking cute. So she's so sweet. She wrote me this little letter. Her Facebook and her Etsy shop is Fairy Dust Toes and her YouTube is just Josie Joe. So I'll put all of her information in the description box below. She's a young entrepreneur starting her own business and I just had to show support and love because she's part of the fam bam and I just love you guys so much. I appreciate you and each and every one of you all of your artwork, everything that you guys have to offer this world. I am right there with you, you guys. Like I'm supporting you every step of the way and I love you so much. Please thumbs up this video, sub scribbles, and also don't forget to check out the CC Panda channel, brand new. I'll leave the link also in the description box. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye.